Do you want to know what makes a phenomenal science fiction? I'm going to tell you. What makes a phenomenal science fiction is when you have this scientific phenomena, such as the introduction of aliens or artificial intelligence taking over, or you have any amount of things. You take something like that, probably an apocalypse, and then you throw it at humans and you see how human nature bends around all of that and adjusts in order to survive. You want to see the emotional turmoil. You want to see the scenarios and situations that would take place. You want to see how people cope with this scientific phenomenon that no one else has experienced ever in civilization. And that is what makes a phenomenal science fiction. And this is what makes Interstellar the best science fiction movie I've ever seen in my life. Let me give you the background. The movie takes place on a dying earth where there's these big, huge dust storms taking place. No crops can be grown on this new on this earth that's here. And you have the main character, Cooper, who's played by Matthew McConaughey, and he's a former NASA pilot. One day, Cooper, he ends up stumbling upon this NASA program. And coincidentally, coincidentally, this NASA program, they were li they were looking for a NASA pilot this whole time. Why? Because there's a portal that's out there by, I believe it was Jupiter. And this portal, they don't know who put it there. But they know that it leads to another galaxy with habitable planets. And so now they want to send Cooper there. There's only... Well, multiple problems. Number one, Cooper, he has a daughter who he loves a lot. and But he doesn't want this to be the end of Earth. And so he ends up taking this mission along with his team. And this is where that human nature and scientific phenomena starts to compete. Because the further away he gets away from his daughter, the bigger the gaps in time. Because when you have two, two objects being further away the greater the time difference is going to be. What's an hour to him may be a, a year to people here on Earth. And that's where the story just gets so emotional because they've built up this foundation of believability and science on it, on it and then they build up the plot and then they give you the emotions. The emotions just don't come out of nowhere and it's just something to jerk your tears. It's something that you actually believe could happen if this took place. And then that's not even the crazy part. They go through the portal and that's when things just start to get so, so that they just start to get so crazy and emotional. If I wanted to see what would take place if the earth were dying and there was a portal, portal, even the other habitable planets, I would watch interstellar. Because I believe that this is something that would actually take place. And the movie does get confusing at parts. Because the science is so believable. It gets very confusing at one point near the end of the movie. But you just have to, you have to watch it again. And it's something that just makes a lot of sense the more you watch it. When this movie ends, it, it just has such this strong feeling of perseverance that it instilled in you it just has this very strong sense of humanity that's instilled in you by the, by the movie and it's the greatest science fiction movie ever made it, it's something that I, I just see uh, being able to have taken place if you haven't seen interstellar you need to watch it